guys. How are you? As you can see, I am home and I have a few things I need to get done. Uh, we're about to get some pretty bad storms, including um, like hurricane type storms. We don't get hurricanes here, but we get the aftermath of hurricanes here. So we get lots of rain and, and storms from it, but we don't, we don't actually get the brunt of it. So I just wanted to get these potatoes out of the ground before that happens. Hey buddy, you coming to help? Got my helper coming. <laughs> um, before that happens and getting some stuff uh, cleaned up and done. We're gonna get this bed all wiped out right here. This is the potatoes. Get that wiped out and start getting everything prepped for uh, the fall garden, believe it or not. They get the potatoes that deep into the ground. Yeah. All right, we are still digging. I guess the longer the roots, the better, more consistent you get. Or yeah. Like the bigger they are. I guess so. So he's digging by hand. I'm using the thing, uh, the pitchfork. But I mean, for this tiny little patch that we did, we're getting a good amount, right, Hen? Mm -hmm. They're pretty good sizes. Or getting a good amount so that's so far we are about halfway done so we're gonna get these finished because the rain is coming quick oh that's a big one mm -hmm. Ooh, woo woo Dater. you put this in your pile like I was like let it rain because it's the best watering for the garden it just perks right up everything's just all perked up all right so we got all of the potatoes and I don't think it's done raining we got all the potatoes that well I think we there's probably some still in there because when kids are helping you look there's one on the ground right here when kids are helping you another one on the ground they you know they don't normally get all of it so and we kind of had to rush because of the rain. So I think um, I will go through here one more time. Just dig it up a little bit more so that I can um, make sure we got everything. But for the most part, the potato patch is done. Next year, I will show you how much we got this year. But next year, I w I'm probably going to triple this size. This isn't a very big bed. Kind of was, like I said, I, I was... This year is just a testing year. This year is a an experiment year because you don't... I don't know the soil. I didn't amend anything. I didn't do anything. I just threw stuff in the ground and to see how it looks. And so far, so good. But we got this many potatoes. So it's not a ton, but that's quite a few dinners for us. And so next year we will be doing, I'm probably going to do three times the size of that, that potato patch for, uh, for next year's harvest when we, when we do it. And I think what's, I'm going to end up doing it up there. So, but up here we are building, this is where we're going to build the new greenhouse. And I'm looking forward to that. I mean, we do have to have an area in the middle here that's still clear and that's so because we'll, we will run pigs again. Next spring we'll get more pigs, do the same thing all over again. Um, and then, of course, we've got Aiden's beautiful garden up there that's doing fabulous. Um, <clears throat> so, hi. 
Did you get it? Did you guys see the Easter egg earlier? Check it out. All right, in the house now, making dinner completely from our farm. Potatoes are from our farm, zucchinis from our farm, pork chops are from our farm. We're actually eating pork chops for the first time since we got them back. I was actually in Boston with Aaron and Matt had to take them all. You guys saw the video where we brought them, but he went and picked it all up and they did a really good job with, with everything. Look at how good these look. I'm looking forward to it. All right, grill time. Pretty excited about this. It's, it's an amazing feeling when you harvest everything yourself that you grew. You know where it came from. You know what it ate as far as meat goes. And even in, even in the garden, I didn't use any pesticides or any, anything like that. So on the grill, they go. just decided, I was like, oh yeah, we have Swiss chard out here in the garden. So, and it kind of bounced back. So what we did to deter these chipmunks and stuff is actually working. It's not great, but it's definitely more than it was. I mean, I thought it was dead. I, I had no hope for this at all. Let's add some kale to that. Why not, right? Big old mixture medley kind of thing. The kale has exploded since I've been home before last, so this is pretty great. Okay, food is done. Let's show you what it looks like. Oh, I can't do it. Squash. I don't. Aiden, what do you think of the pork chops? I love them. Dad, what do you think of the pork chops? Excellent. Delicious. We haven't tried it yet. We're you haven't tried it yet? Delicious. All right. Alaska, it's hard I'm to about tell. to try it. All right, that's really good. Matt just says one of the best pork chops he's ever had. That says it all. So we'll definitely be doing this again next year.